Yet. We've also issued a first alert weather day for tomorrow. Yeah, first alert chief meteorologist Lisa Spencer tracking it all for us. Lisa, you got to walk us through this because people are concerned, especially with what happened last week. Oh, yeah, with tornadoes all over the place on Wednesday. Six, as a matter of fact, mm. ended up with. We're not expecting tornadoes tomorrow. That is the good news. We do have possible severe storms in the afternoon and evening tomorrow. Our threats are hail and damaging wind right now. Very low. We just doesn't seem any kind of ingredients are going to come together for tornadoes. We could also see some heavy downpours, though, with these storms. This is a low-end threat one on that one to five scale. And if you're looking for where the worst of it will be, well, that's going to be down south here into South Georgia and also the panhandle there of Florida, where we could see some of those stronger storms developing. And you can see they've got plenty of action going on right now. And this will be moving eastward. So with that, we're seeing some pretty strong thunderstorms as well. But we do think that part's going to stay to the south. We will, however, see the little tail that you see right there coming through Arkansas. That's part of an area of low pressure that will be sliding here and that will provide us with the storms that we are looking for tomorrow. Right now it's just a few very light showers across the mid-state moving towards the northeast and I mean it's really light here from Hendersonville over to Ashland City but just enough to get those windshield wipers going and a few of those showers headed up towards Murfreesboro as well. But that is all that we're seeing out there right now so fairly quiet. In Brentwood we've had a little bit of rain through there. A little bit of the rain was on the camera lens, but the pavement is starting to dry now, and it is a little bit gloomy looking over downtown from our perspective here with those clouds hanging low. We have had showers in the Nashville area. That has really held our temperatures down today. 63 degrees right now in Nashville, 58 in Cookville, 65 there in Murfreesboro. In Lawrenceburg, you are at 64 degrees. Going through the rest of the night, well, we'll see a clear time, and then the early morning hours is when we expect to see our first round of thunderstorms for tomorrow coming into Paris, over to Parsons. That will scoot on to the east, headed into Nashville right around 5 o'clock in the morning. We don't think this round is going to be severe, although there may be, may be some thunderstorms in there, and that will move on by. It's the scattered activity that we see starting at noon and continuing into the afternoon. Look at this line trying to form here at 4. That will give us the greatest threat of seeing some of those warnings issued tomorrow for perhaps some high winds and also some hail with these storms. That will continue to move to the east and those storms dissipate so we are not looking at a crazy night where you're going to be up all night with storms which is great news as well. This is 6 30 in the morning on Wednesday and just a few showers will linger. We will look for a little bit of clearing before the day is totally gone. Now tomorrow with the rain chance that will help bring that pollen count down that will continue a bit on Wednesday and then Thursday it's right back up there again in the high category. Our first alert forecast for the next seven days including that first alert weather day for tomorrow tomorrow with those showers and storms. It's in the afternoon and evening, most likely to see some of those severe storms. Wednesday, some lingering showers, 76 degrees. A dry day coming up on Thursday, warming up too with more sunshine, a high of 82. And then for Friday, we've got showers and thunderstorms Friday into Saturday, but these will be isolated on Saturday and Sunday. It will warm up again to the low to mid 80s. And then we've got some isolated thunder showers in the forecast for Monday of next week. Lisa Spencer, thank you so much.